We're gonna go eat in this place right here. It's called Panama. And from what I've seen so far here in Mazatlan is there's a Panama around every corner. So let's go inside this place and, and see what it's all about. Oh, probably gonna have to put on my mask for this one. Doo -doo. Smells like bacon. Yeah, no, it smells really good right away. All right. This is it, check it out, guys. So it's a huge bakery over here. Buenas. Buenas noches. Yeah. Uh, por favor. Dos. Okay. All right. So, just like the Cheesecake Factory, when you go there at night, you're gonna wait just a bit. Check it out, though. They have their own branded mask. Wow. And this place is huge. Aquí? Okay, sorry. Alright, then we go ahead and have a seat. We got the mini booth. <laughs> oh, just like I said, guys, the menu is, is massive. Whoa, it's double sided. Okay, this is all breakfast here. Whoa! Like all day breakfast? Maybe we'll have to come back and do a breakfast vlog. <laughs> no, no, it's available until 1 p.m. Uh, not right now. No well from the pancakes. Oh, man. Okay. Have a look at it. Juices, appetizers, soups, sandwiches, burgers, tortas. Jeez, I'm... This is an overwhelming menu. It's just like the Cheesecake Factory. You just have no idea what you're gonna get. Look at this chilaquiles, divorced shadows, like divorced chilaquiles. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I think I'm just gonna ask the waitress what is the most yeah, popular, and I'm gonna go with that. So, estos aquí son platillos nuevos que no están en el menú. Check it out, guys. The menu gets even bigger, but at least you get some pictures. Bueno, mira, este menú está demasiado grande. Este. Soy, soy un extranjero, no soy de acá. ¿Qué me recomendarías que es el platillo aquí que tengo que probar? Pues lo que más piden, por ejemplo, sea esta la poderosa del norte. Es una hamburguesa como riba y molida y cubitos de voz tambo. La verdad está muy buena. Una hamburguesa y, y algo más mexicano. Algo más mexicano. Mm. Las enchiladas norteñas, son de top silón, también las enchiladas mexicanas. Enchiladas, esas están. Ok, so esta es una de las más populares. Ok, ¿opciones eh, vegetarianas tienen? Pues tenemos las ensaladas, pero la verdad todas tienen pollo. Igual se le puede retirar, no hay ningún problema. Ok, so solo las ensaladas es lo único vegetariano acá. Sí. Ok, está bien. gracias. Por nada. No many options for you. <laughs> I have this strong urge to investigate something. We're gonna go together though. They left the whole cake. But that's, I think that's the popular one, right? It's the green one? Yeah, I mean, I saw it on the menu. Yeah, this right here. We might have to try that one. We're gonna get a fresh one, obviously. How are we gonna get this one? Buenas noches, amigo. Sí, para ello, por favor. Para mí. Okay, muchas gracias, hermano. Alright, that's cute. Nice I like the presentation, that's a good story. Mm. It's good. I, I like it. Thank you. You, you picked it for me, so I liked it a lot. Thank you. Um, had to make her eat something. Or else you guys start in the comments, oh, feed Sophie, feed her. Why is she not eating? Feed her. <laughs> You're a tyrant, Carlos, feed her. What about this mouth here then? It's good. It's very good, actually. That moment when the food hits. Muchas gracias, hermano. Gracias. Ooh, it comes with fries. Wow, gracias, gracias. mi rey. That's oh, all for me. Everything God. is for me. Enough for you, just for me. All right, so the portions look like Cheesecake Factory portions. Yeah, it's something to share, but I'm not going to share it. <laughs> look at her, guys. She's so happy now. It's like queso menonita. I don't know why it's menonita. Let's find out. The fries look really good. I'm like so hungry. I'm already stuck. It smells like fish, 
It has the texture like a fish. Uh, we're, in, we're in Mazatlan. Yeah. yeah. Everything smells like fish. I don't know what it's what, but <laughs> I'll go with them. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I Tasty, right? I feel like you're gonna try one. <laughs> oh, you don't, you don't write. I'm gonna. <laughs> you don't write. I'm not gonna watch her eat like while they're cooking my entrees. <laughs> All right, go for it. Time to try out the the cheese stick. You're not sure if I can call it a mozzarella stick, but no. Huh? Oh, maybe Chihuahua. That is good. That is very good actually. I want to try it with some sauce though. Mm. 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 It's almost like ranch, but it's not ranch. Oh my god. The thing is, I love ranch, so. I don't know, let's try out this sauce. Oh, it's like marinara. The funny part is like, I was like, okay, there's like celery, carrots, and fries to go with it, and there's just more fries in it. There's like one stick of celery. Probably run out. Now, this is a big portion, you know? Yeah. And like I was saying, um, the reason I keep saying Cheesecake Factory is because I, I worked there before in the States, before I began the whole traveling thing. And, and yeah, the menu is big, and this place, really reminds me of the Cheesecake Factory. Have a look at this. Look at all the cakes, oh my god. Wow, la tentación está a millón acá. Oh lord, oh my god. Imagine coming here on 420 and they come through with this, this cart full of cakes. Oh man. But yeah, so basically, it gives me the vibes. It's just a very big restaurant with a huge menu and a lot of desserts. Is it what it is, my man? Porcajete pescado. Okay. Is that salsa de qué es? It's tartara. Tartara? Oh, okay. And the camarones. And this salsa qué es? Salsa tatemada. Tate qué? Tatemada. Tatemada. Chile rojo. Tatemada salsa. All right. And the camarones. Okay. Well, all for me. Wow. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Muchas gracias, hermano. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. We have some rice here topped with sliced almonds. We have these delicious looking shrimps. Some little breadcrumbs on top. And they're wrapped in bacon. We have some sauce. We have onion rings. Here we have some fried fish on a bowl. Looks like we got some sauce under there. <laughs> I think I ordered two entrees. Uh, good thing we don't uh, order more because there's no space anyway. And they gave you bread? Oh yeah, I, I kept that on my side. But look, there's a present under the bread. Oh, there's some tortillas. All right. All right, I'll take the bread, you can have the tortillas. <laughs> Mexican style, baby. You get bread and tortillas on the table. It's time to munch in and I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna go straight for these shrimps. They are just simply calling me. Look at all that. Look at it's a big, big prawn there wrapped around in juicy bacon. Let's go for a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that is good. Look, it looks like the shrimp has been stuffed with meat. Um, yeah. Amiga, al camarón le meten carne. El camarón tiene adentro queso gratinado y marlin. Y marlin le pusieron. Wow, delicioso. Este es el plato. Este es el propio acá. Oh my God. Muchas gracias. I am so glad I didn't choose the burger. 
I'm sure it's pretty good, but this right here, guys, that is the hidden gem in there. There's some marlin there, stuffed inside the shrimp, as well as some cheese, and it's all wrapped in bacon. How good is that? Inside of this shrimp, it is stuffed with marlin and cheese and some herbs and veggies there to give some more taste. Guys, this might be one of the best shrimps on the planet. Oh my goodness. I wanna try it with some sauce this time though. So I'm gonna dip this bad boy into the sauce here. Bam, get it nice and saucy. Look at that. Cholesterol levels out of the roof right now. Out of the ballpark. That sauce is a hit, a major hit. It's like a dynamite sauce that goes perfect with the shrimp. While the food is still hot, we're gonna go in for sample number two. Whoa, check this out. A surprise, I, look, this was like this, right? So you take this out, and then you have a mountain of guacamole there. Looks like a dinosaur egg one. A dinosaur, yeah, like little treasures here. These are fish nuggets. So let's try out the fish nuggets here in Panama. Excellent batter, I like it. Now, to take this to the next level, you need some tartar sauce. Bam! And that's what they hooked it up with here. Ooh! Hold on, it gets even better, check it out. We have a lime. Oh. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Lime, tartar sauce, and some fried fish. Okay, salad. Observation to be made on top of the shrimp, there are some breadcrumbs. They taste very cheesy. So I'm not sure if they're cheesy breadcrumbs or if they got like some cheese potato chips, like some ruffles, cheddar ruffles, and put a little bit on top because that's that's what it's tasting like right now. You know the bread is not very good when Sophie isn't destroying the bread. The reason I say that, for those of you that don't know, she's French and addicted to bread. And then me here, I'm becoming addicted to these tortillas. Oh, I love that smell. But we're gonna do fish tacos basically. I'm gonna put two of these fish nuggets on here gonna get my spoon over here and we're gonna dig for some of this guac we're gonna dig for some of this guac over here Woo! look at that yeah put that right there we're gonna add a lime oh shoot the seed got on it you gotta make sure you get the lime juice there but Remove the seeds because they're pretty sour. Oh man, this one doesn't want to come out. <laughs> All right. All right, I have created my own top. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Tasty. I approve. Check it out. So since 1970, this place has been going on. And here's the toilet. We'll take a pause. <laughs> the restaurant even has an elevator and a very elegant staircase. You know, I usually prefer street food, but man, you see this restaurant so many times when you come to Sinaloa that eventually you're just gonna peek in there one time and try it out and so far so good the food's been a hit another feature that the guests here at Panama will have is privacy oh the check is there but check this out guys you get complete privacy so you don't see the person next to you only between the cracks here can you get a peek I don't like that I like to see people 
How much is the blow? Are we gonna have um, to wash dishes? I don't get the ticket to play for a game and win something. <laughs> oh, oh, if you win, don't forget about me. <laughs> All right, so the total for everything is 500 pesos, basically. So that's $25 USD. Let's check out the, the ticket here. They are very smart over here. Either way, I was gonna do this, but check it out. This is the exit. They don't let you leave without going through some temptations. All right, cakes everywhere. Let's check these out. These look more interesting. Este, amiga, todo esto, estas tortas las hacen aquí en la casa. Se hace en la fábrica. En la fábrica y la fábrica las traen acá. Ah, okay. So same as Cheesecake Factory, guys. You think all those cheesecakes are made in the restaurant? They're not. They're made in a, a, a fábrica. I forgot how to say fabrica, a factory, and then they're brought over here. But you guys don't want to see me right now. You guys want to see the cakes. Oh lord, man, that that really looks good. I'm not gonna lie. And so does this. Everything looks delicious. Are you tempted or no? Not really. Not really. Oh man, that is a direct blow. The French pastry expert has spoken. They have a snicker donut, what? Oh man. So I'm gonna have to come back over here and do uh, a breakfast video because I wanna try out the breakfast. It looks it looks quite interesting. Something like these chilaquiles. But they have a better option. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll definitely save room for dessert. Today I had two plates so so I, I just got stuffed guys. I'm super stuffed. They have the one I like though. I like this one. Oh, okay. You like pastries. You don't like cakes. Yeah, you like pastries. Pastry, yeah. yeah. That looks good right here. That Danish. No, you want a you want a croissant. Look there. There you go. You got croissants over there. No, I prefer this. <laughs> Check out the chalupa. What? Man, this place is is impressive. Let's get out of here so I can remove this. Oh man. You can see through the windows. Woo. So yep, that's that's Panama. Over here in Mazatlan, Sinaloa. Now to give some ratings, man, those shrimps that were were wrapped with bacon on it and stuffed with marlin and cheese, guys, that I'm not gonna give it a 10, I'm gonna give it a, a nine, almost a 9.5. I love this city man it is just very vibrant and loud and um, yeah I'm gonna give it a 9 maybe a 9.5 the other fried fish nuggets I'll, I'll, I'll give them an 8 they're good and they taste a lot better when you put all the toppings on there such as the avocado the sauces they, they taste a lot better that way trust me any final words Sophonator you look I like you're I see on the sign they have a ferrero cake like you know the chocolate ferro roche Ah, that, that, oh, that yeah. attracts me actually. That arena. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, looks I, I good. could try a slice of that. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I don't have anything else to say, guys. Uh, I, I'm stuffed, and I'm gonna walk this off. Music everywhere. Catch you guys on the next one.